The Jonathan Law football program has had a remarkable season, finishing their regular schedule 9-1 and and crushing their rival 4 in high school on Thanksgiving with a score of 60-29. to The boys are preparing for what follows. The lawmen are ranked as a third seed in Class M and are set to play Ram High School ranked number 6. Law senior captain and quarterback John Nader, who was named All-State Top 26 in Tier 3 of the year, talks about the preparation for the team's upcoming game against Ram in the Class M quarterfinals. We prepare for a playoff game starting off at practice. We don't really have a lot of time during the week. There's only three or four days to prepare for the game. We start off by watching a lot of film. Then we go to practice with our scouting reports and just try to get each other as best as we can. The CIAC State Football Playoffs started 46 years ago, and Jonathan Law hadn't won a single playoff game. Now for the second time in school history, the lawmen competed in the state playoffs. And for the first time in school history, the boys hosted the first round of states on their home field. The pressure is building up as these boys have made it into uncharted territory. After an outstanding regular season, fans expect the lawmen to make it far. Senior wide receiver Matt Haggerty and senior defensive lineman Brandon Leslie talk about dealing with the pressure of a large audience in an important game. I deal with uh, pressure before big games by you know, just focusing on play to play. And, um, you know, nerves can really build up. Like, before, like, Thanksgiving, I was pretty nervous. And before um, a lot of our big home games, I was pretty nervous. But leading up to the first snap is usually the worst. And then after that, I'm ready to go. So um, there isn't really pressure when there's people in the stands watching us. We have on and stuff. Um, usually, I'm already focused and already locked in. So I don't really worry about that. The team has the entire law community on their side and would love nothing more than to advance the next round. The boys are making history as they reach new heights every day. Senior captain and middle linebacker Jack Selman was named All-SEC this season and is very excited to see how far they can make it. He talks about his goals for the rest of the season. Corner Michael Smith also talks about their goals for the rest of the playoffs. My goal for the playoffs are to play as long as we can as a team together and win a state championship. My hopes for the playoffs start to win because we work so hard to get here as a team. The boys all have different ways to prepare and get themselves hyped for a big game like Ram. There are tremendous pressure on these boys and they always maintain a cool and collective mindset, especially when it comes to game time. For example, John and Gael are seen here dancing the morning of their game against Ram. <laughs> Now we'll hear senior offensive lineman Devin Calvin talk about his pregame rituals. My pregame rituals are to get my car washed before every game, and I always eat ice cream before my games. We will now see highlights from the contest and hear about a game that will go down in history. The lawmen had never won 10 games in any season in school history until Tuesday, November 29th. Law knocked off Ram 42-13. Ram scored first with a run by Max Nyland, but that lead didn't last very long. Law, who led the state in points scored during the regular season, exploded for 35 unanswered points before halftime. Before the break, Nider rushed 10 times for 196 yards. In the second quarter, Nider added a 4-yard touchdown pass to Matt Hardy, and to top it off, Law pulled out a trick play with his brother Michael, throwing a 16-yard pass to John in the end zone. Now we will hear John Nader talk about their performance against Ram. I think we did uh, pretty good against Ram. There were some penalties that threw us off. We had some bumps in the road the whole game, but overall we got the job done. But we want more. <laughs> now Law steps up to face Tier 1, second seed in Notre Dame West Haven at 12.30 at Veterans Field in West Haven. The winner of that contest will play for the Class M crown December 10th. Senior Devin Calvin talks about the team's hopes going into the game. I think we're prepared for the game this week. It's going to be a very tough one, probably the hardest game that most of us are going to have in our high school career. But um, practice is going to have to go good, and uh, we're going to have to keep going. Now highlights from the game are shown with a breakdown of the final results. On Sunday, December 4th, Notre Dame West Haven hosted the Class M semifinals against Jonathan Law. The game started with a touchdown run by Jake Staten of Notre Dame, the law followed up with a touchdown pass from John Nider to Matt Hardy. The next touchdown was a run by Staten, but Law answered back with a pass from Nider to sophomore Charlie Becker. The game was tied 14-14 at the half and remained this way until the fourth quarter. Notre Dame's Matt Picota then hit Staten for a 70-yard touchdown pass and then Notre Dame led 21-14. Law was on the end zone about to score when they were interrupted by Notre Dame. Then in the final two minutes of the game, Matt Picota found Staten for a pass and ran for a touchdown. The final score of the game was 28-14. Despite being neck and neck to the last four minutes, the Green Knights came out on top. 
Law fought hard and proved a lot by keeping the score so close with a Tier 1 private school. Notre Dame went on to win the classroom championship against Berlin 35-8. to Zevin Calvin talks about his feelings on the game and how he feels about the season. After the game, I was obviously sad, but as time went on, I went and thought about the game and the season that we had. And it was historic and we broke lots of records in law. Good memories from the football season and the summers and stuff definitely outweighed uh, the loss. The community is extremely proud of how the boys played and handled themselves during the game. The boys have a lot to be proud about this season. John Eider and Jack Selman talk about their proudest achievements as this year comes to an end. I'm most proud of everything we accomplished during the season. We have the first team in law history with 10 wins. We have the first team in law history to win a playoff game. And I feel like we built a great thing here. This season, I'm most proud of making the playoffs and especially winning the first playoff game, which is the first time in law history. I think it's also a really good year. We all got really close and worked good as a team. I'd like to say to the team next year that you guys will be ready. You have a lot of returning stars. You'll be a very good team. The win on Thanksgiving meant a lot because uh, with the win against Bourne. <laughs> Was that the question? I deal with big pressure. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, I deal with pressure by um, having John on the team. You always know he's going to score a touchdown, you know. It's something light for him. Our biggest concern going into our stance is just us beating up on ourselves. <laughs> Uh, we, I think our worst enemy is ourselves at this point. We all gotta focus and play our game. This season. Can you stop? Go. My, 